Sir, this man case. This man case needs special prayer. Amen. Come out here. What has been troubling you from your father's house will be taken care of today. Amen. And what has been bothering your life will be taken care of today. Amen. The monitoring spirit that monitor you from overseas to Nigeria is still never tired. But God is going to frustrate them. Mm. How can a man be doing his best and doing very well all of a sudden they gang up in the realm of the spirit because they see that it's like you are going to now become somebody great. They begin to fight you. You have a lot of battles. Eh? But yes. those battles are over. Amen. For you to win and come out of that prison means that you have won finally and you are going to possess your possession. Amen. Do you believe that? I believe. Are you sure? I believe. Are you sure you believe? I believe it. You see yourself now, you see that you are strong. That's true. Do you know why you are strong? No. God is by your side. Amen. Nobody, many people, no, it's not everybody that has survived what to survive. You survive it because your tomorrow is big. Amen. Your tomorrow is pregnant. Amen. And your tomorrow is loaded. Amen. I am speaking a word in your life that from now on, the Egyptians and the enemy will not see you again. Amen. Your do you want to tell us your story? I can tell. Tell us your story. Because I see a lot of story in your mouth. There are so many things that has happened to me. I left Nigeria. I left Nigeria. When he got the traveling ticket at the cost of $303. That's 1986. He wants me to go and study medicine in India for a particular sickness. But to reach India, everything is like that. So, it has been what I cannot be able to explain. Sometimes when I'm there, I'm living alone. I, don't, I refuse to live with some foreign girls. Sometimes in the night, it will be that this building is suppressed upon me. Even in the daytime, this building, it is like it is on me. I will be struggling and crying when I start shouting Jesus, Jesus, I will get myself. It happened so many times. I don't know what to do. So I continue struggling, struggling, struggling. It is not the best. But all these things are coming. I don't know where to start. Until I left India and went to, I traveled to many countries, Russia, Iran, Dubai, Malawi, Tanzania. I don't know. We are, I, I don't know the one I will not be able to mention. I've been to so many countries. But what is monitoring me is what I don't know. When the business is coming, all of a sudden I will walk like a lion. After everything, I will not be able to count the money. Even from my father's compound, that is where the thing originated. Even as I'm talking, this is the second time I'm in prison. I was in prison in Kenya. I didn't use lawyer, but God is on my side. I stand there by myself. And I served three years and six months. Here in Nigeria, I have served four years. Oh! And eight months. Not only that, I was in Ikoi prison on 22nd of last month. When they are shooting people, there was riot. Many people died. But God set me free. Hey! And I supposed to be out of prison by 27th of October. But it is on 11th of this month that I came out. I spent extra 16 days. Even the grave of my father and my mother is given to me to build a house. But while in prison, my eldest brother went and took it. How? Oh! Till now, I don't know. That is why I decided that I will not go and face him. But I must visit, God, God must visit my case 
before going. It is from Ikoi Prison that I was connected to come here. Somebody put their hand together for Jesus. Now, you can see, many of you will be sitting there saying, I, I have a problem. I, you don't have any problem. Eh? People that have problem, if they open their mouth, you yourself, you will, you will not say, God, thank you, I'm in heaven. But sir, listen to me, that household enemy, it is time to settle the matter. Amen. I say, it is time to settle the matter. Amen. Because what you cannot do for yourself, God will definitely do it for you. Amen. Because this is because your hands are clean. Had it been this man's hand is not clean, he would have been forgotten in the grave. Because the plan was for him to die, even in prison. And so many, eh? Put the microphone. Eh? I was told that I, they saw me in chain. I was on handcuff. The second is my coffin. Where I was in the coffin. Hey! But God took away that one and went to prison. The one that sent me to India is the one that died. Hey! He's, on, he's a pastor. A born again Christian that cannot be compared. He died. Oh God! After a year I got in, I was in, in prison in 2015. 2016, he passed away. Without any sickness. So now listen to me. God who has preserved you all this thing. The time has come. Amen. For the will of God to be accomplished in your life. Amen. I said the time has come. Amen. For things to turn around. Amen. The time has come for God now to do something new. Amen. Shower your blessings upon me. Jehovah Nisi, shower your blessings upon me. I believe in you. I want to give you a cheer in the presence of God. Sit down here now. Shower your blessings upon me. Jehovah Rapha, remove your shoe. Upon me, I believe in you. Give me a bottle of oil. We also have people like you that are out there watching, and also people that are crying and saying they don't know how to come out of this problem anymore. I'm going to use you as a point of contact Amen. to locate them wherever they are. Amen. Whatever demonic prison tormenting your life, troubling your life will come to an end. Amen. So therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I prepare you spiritually and physically Amen. that wherever you enter, whoever throw an arrow, it shall backfire. Amen. They come from your front. Wah! They shall not see you. Amen. They will do everything. Can we see him? They cannot see you. Amen. They will throw the arrow and do everything. Arrow and whatever they throw will backfire. Amen. And then I say, let us come from the back. They come from the back. They will not see you. Amen. Whatever they throw from your behind shall backfire them. Amen. And then I say, let's go from his right hand. Come from the right. They will not see you. Amen. Come from the left, they will not see you. Amen. Upon your head, there's an oil. Amen. And upon your foot, your two legs, they will not see you. Amen. I prepare you spiritually. Amen. Physically. Amen. And otherwise. Amen. It is time now to go and be in bondage no more. Amen. For Jesus is your freedom fighter. Amen. Jesus has set you free. Amen. You will never be in bondage again. Amen. Jesus say me wo kampo no ru agai ma gai mo agai ma bu bo ro so Jesus say me wo kampo no ru agai ma gai mo agai ma bu bo ro so Jesus say me wo kampo no ru Aha Aha I'm <laughs> <laughs> 
of man's cash that is here. Because as I pray for him now, God have used him to also touch those that are online watching. Whether you are in Austria, you are in uh, Bahamas, you are anywhere in the world, God has sought the case. Amen. Spiritually, you may have worse than his own. I pray for you. That case is over. Amen. I said the case is over. Amen. I said the case is over. Amen. I said the case is over. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen.